Hi everyone, my name is Jianning San. Currently, I'm a machine learning scientist from Layer 6 AI of TD Bank Group in Toronto, Canada. I'm here to present our research paper, HGCF, Hyperbolic Graph Convolution Networks for Collaborative Filtering. In a high level in this paper, we propose a collaborative filtering model to learn low dimensional user and item representations on the hyperbolic space, and also capture the high order information of user item relationships by aggregating from usual Euclidean space with GCN layers. This is a joint work with my colleagues, Joey, Saba, Felipe, and Max. The task we are tackling in our paper is collaborative filtering for recommender systems. It's to predict users' preferences for a set of items based on historical interactions only. To build a recommender system, collaborative filtering is one of the most popular approaches. The key of collaborative filtering is to find similarities among users, similarities among items, and the similarities between users and items. Now I will briefly explain the pipeline for building a recommender system by collaborative filtering. The input of the pipeline is the interaction matrix between users and items, where one denotes a click or a purchase between a user and item. Zero means no interaction observed in training. The model will need to learn um, user and item representations from, from the input based on the input matrix. So the output from the model is inviting vectors uh, to represent each user and each item. From the process, we can say that there are two key components in modern collaborative filtering models. Uh, one is the quality of the learned embeddings. It needs to be representative and informative. Another key component is how well your model can, can reconstruct and discover the preferences uh, between users and items based on the learned embeddings. Having the key components in mind, I will now talk about the motivation of our work and the differences of our work between our work and the previous work. So most of the previous work has the embedding parameters defined and optimized in Euclidean space. When it comes to position the learned user item embeddings in the space, the volume of Euclidean space grows polynomially in that case. For, the, for our model, we propose to learn embeddings defined and optimized on hyperbolic space. One benefit of that is um, the low dimensional latent vectors can be more expressive when they are on hyperbolic space. Um, another benefit is the exponentially growing volume, which is a great advantage when it comes to metric learning, which I will explain more later in objective function. Lastly, our model also learns the information from the usual Euclidean space. Um, so that's all for the motivation for some of the parameters um, of our model. Firstly, a d-dimensional hyperbolic space is a Riemannian manifold with constant negative curvature. A Lorentz representation can be defined on the hyperbolic space as, as the following formula, um, with the inner product of a point on the hyperbolic space equals the equals the curvature. GL denotes the metric tensor on the hyperbolic space. With the metric tensor, we can calculate the distance of any pair of points x, x and y uh, on the hyperbolic space by the following formula. Now I will present our HGCF model. Firstly, um, how we define embeddings on hyperbolic space. They are firstly obtained by initializing on the tangent space respect, with respect to the region of the hyperbolic space. And an exponential map um, is defined in Riemannian manifolds, which allows us to project from tangent space to hyperbolic space. Um, we then get the user and item embeddings in hyperbolic space denoted by theta u and theta i with the help of exponential mapping. And here u and i denotes users and items respectively. Um, 
Having embeddings defined on hyperbolic space allows us to learn and optimize from hyperbolic space. We also want to capture the high order information from the usual Euclidean space. Conversely, in Riemannian manifolds, logarithmic map is another map we can utilize to project a point from the manifold to its tangent space, where we then apply multiple graph convolutional layers on the tangent space to extract high order information from hops of neighbors on the user item bipartite graph. Here is the overall process for a forward path of our model. We first initialize the user item embeddings on hyperbolic space, then apply multiple GCN layers on the tangent space to aggregate information from high order neighbors with skip connection to alleviate um, the over smoothing problem on the graph. And all of these uh, GCN layers happened on the tangent space after we, we map the parameters from the hyperbolic space to the tangent space. Uh, we then project the output from the skip GCN back to the hyperbolic space to calculate the loss and optimize the parameters directly on hyperbolic space. Our objective function, we call it hyperbolic margin ranking loss, is about optimizing the position of uh, user and item embeddings on hyperbolic space with the margin ranking loss. We want to push user closer with uh, positive items and further from randomly sampled negative items uh, within a fixed margin M. DL is the um, DL is the hyperbolic distance I just explained in the preliminaries. The purpose of having a margin is uh, once the distance differences is larger than the margin, which means this is an easy triplet, and the user is already close enough to the positive against the negative, the loss becomes zero, and the, the despair stops contributing to the gradient. Now let's take a closer look um, on the objective function uh, compared with its Euclidean version. In figure A, we elaborate the margin ranking loss on hyperbolic space versus um, Euclidean space. Because the volume on hyperbolic space grows exponentially because of the curvature, as uh, um, so it grows exponentially as it gets closer to the boundary. Items on the hyperbolic space can be more concentrated while maintaining a desired separation from each other. The benefits of that is um, in hyperbolic space, we can squeeze in more points um, at the same radius compared to Euclidean space. As shown in figure B here, I, I put this example, when both hyperbolic and Euclidean space are two dimensional, hyperbolic space can clearly contain more points at the same radius. This very much relates to how much we can regulate the distance between users and items with the margin ranking loss. For optimizing the embedding parameters defined on hyperbolic space, we use, we use Riemannian stochastic gradient descent, RSGD, where it first computes the usual Euclidean gradient. Um, then with, with the help of the Euclidean, usual Euclidean gradient and, and the metric tensor GL, it computes the Riemannian, um, Riemannian gradient through orthogonal projection as shown in step two and also the figure here. Um, lastly, exponential map is used to estimate the gradient update on hyperbolic space. That's all about our model. Uh, now I will present our exponential experimental results. We run on three data sets, Amazon CV, Amazon Book, and the new Yup data set released the last year with um, this three data set has various number of users, items, and sparsities. We compare with a number of baselines from classic matrix for, matrix factorization and BPR, which personalized ranking to the most recent 
uh, metric learning approaches, translational collaborative filtering, collaborative metric learning, Latin regularized uh, metric learning, symmetric metric learning, um, to graph-based approaches, and uh, neural graph collaborative filtering, and LATGCN, also to the very recent hyperbolic embedding learning approaches, hyperbolic autoencoder and hyperbolic variation autoencoder. Our model outperforms the second best model on two of the data sets in terms of recall, which evaluates on accuracy, and NDCG, which evaluates on the ranking performance during retrieval. We also run ablation experiments by adding each component of our model one by one to quantify how much it contributes to the performance. We start with a Latin. We start with the Latin mo Latin embedding model on Euclidean space, optimized with margin ranking laws. The uh, the Latin model plus hyperbolic for uh, like embedding learning on hyperbolic space. Then Latin model plus GCN for the um, um, like Latin model on Euclidean space with skip GCN to aggregate the neighborhood information. Lastly, our uh, HCM model as Latin model plus GCM plus hyperbolic. We observe that each of our proposed components contribute positively to the final performance, as we can see from the experiments on, on two of the data sets here. We also did some visualization on our learned embeddings. Here we visualize our learned item embeddings before and after going through the, GC, the skip GCN layers. We see that before the GCN layers, the item embeddings with, with different popularities are sort of mixed together. Um, after GCN layers, we observe a clear popularity hierarchy where higher, popular, higher popularity items um, with the color yellow are more central, right, centralized and less popular items are, are placed at lower levels of the hierarchy. Um, thank you, that's all of my presentation today. Um, our model is fully open source and, and here's the li link. Um, um, uh, feel free to check it out if you are interested. Thanks again, everyone.